Welcome back to another Square One video. Today, I'm gonna to show you something that has never been done before in the history of the Square One. So the other day, I decided to learn every single cube shape algorithm. However, I quickly realized that this is gonna be really difficult considering how many different cases there are and how many moves there are and just how difficult they are to recognize until I recognize some patterns. So every single time you turn the Square One, you're essentially making it into a different shape. So as you solve cube shape, you are going through a lot of different shapes. Therefore, you should be able to just make a flowchart consisting of all the shapes all converging onto the cube. So that's exactly what I did. Okay, flash forward three hours into the making of this video. My original idea was to talk about each and every one of the shapes, but it's just getting really long and boring and it's so confusing and no one wants to hear that. So change of plans. We're gonna talk about a few cases that make up almost half of the shapes of the square one. So we've probably all seen this case, Scallop Kite. It's a simple three move setup so that you can get it into the cube shape. A lot of people use this as their entire cube shape method. However, one thing that they don't show you is this case right here, this five edge, one edge case. As I was plotting out all of these different shapes, I noticed that so many algorithms pass by this shape on their way to the cube. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can use this to drop a ton of time on your solves. Now, of course, this is only one shape. There are a few different cases of things that can happen on the bottom. So the first is if you have two right here, which it's really easy, you can just bring these down, and then you have scallop kite. But if I had this L, then once again, this is still the five one case, I will bring these two edges down to form a scallop kite. Now there is one last case, which is when you have two parallel edges. This will require a little bit more setup, but instead of conch kite, you will then get it into 4-4, four, four, and then it's still only three moves to the cube. This 5-1 shape might still look pretty random to you, but I'm just gonna do five generated scrambles and show you how you can use this shape to your advantage. So our first scramble has mushroom on top and then four on the bottom. What I'm really looking for is trying to pair up four and then either having the L of edges or two parallel edges, which we already have two parallel edges. So in one move, I've created this shape. Now I look to the other side and I see that two are next to each other, then one more move, and I've already put myself into scallop kite. Next up, we have one, two, three on top and these two on the bottom. So what I see is I see this L, two, and then if I got two more, then I would have one, two, three, four, five, one. So I will bring this up. In one move, I've already made this shape. I look to the bottom. Once again, it's this case. One more move, and I've already set myself up for Kite Scallop. Next up, we have one, two, three on the top, but then these two on the bottom. So unfortunately, there's no way that I can set it up directly into the one five case. Instead, I'm just gonna bring these down and then pair these up with my three on the top. And now I have one, two, three, four, five, one. Now I look to the bottom. Wow, it's this case again. And then we just simply move these together. My next scramble had square on the top and shield on the bottom. So once again, this won't be a one move setup. So I'm going to pair up three of these edges and then all I need is two more. So I look to the bottom, I see my two more, and now I've put it into the five one shape. Now on my bottom, I have an L, so I'll have to bring the L down and then scallop kite and we're done. My last case actually had a star, so I knew the algorithm for it, but I'm still gonna show you how you can use the 5-1 method to finish this. So I would just bring these down. So then this is my L and my two, so I only need two more. So I'm just gonna break up these two. And now I have my 5-1 case. Now I look to the bottom, so it's two. Now I have kite scallop. And we're done. Now for the downsides to it, any of the barrel barrel cases won't pass by this on its way to the cube. Also a couple of the fist fist cases, it would be inefficient to go back to the five one and then to the cube. But overall, this is actually a really efficient and optimized strategy for building the cube. I could almost average under 20 seconds just using this strategy for cube building. But yeah, check out this PDF that I linked below. I guarantee that just by reading through it once, you'll drop some time on the square one. I'm surprised that no one else has done this before because this is a really good way of looking at the shapes of the square one. In addition to cube building, there is also CO, CP, EO, and EP. Luckily, I've made videos on all of these and you can view those on my channel. 
Well, that about wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and for the future, good luck. Thank <laughs> you.